And joining us now from Seattle is physicist and CBS News contributor. He's also the author of the bestseller, The Future of Our Humanity, Our Destiny in the Universe, Michio Kaku. Thank you so much for joining us. I am very excited to talk to you because this is endlessly fascinating to me. Can you describe, first of all, what exactly it is that we are seeing in this image of this black hole? We physicists have waited a hundred years since 1916 for this photograph. This photograph is the smoking gun. First of all, the black disk in the center is the event horizon, the point of no return. You fall through that event horizon and you never come out. It's like a cosmic roach motel. Everything <laughs> checks in, nothing checks out. In fact, our solar system could be devoured for lunch by this black hole, and the black hole wouldn't even burp. That's how big this monster really is, and we finally captured it on film. So you can imagine everywhere around the world, champagne bottles are being uncorked by physicists around the world. We are celebrating today. I can only just begin to get my head around how far away, how large this is, how powerful it is. Can you give us a sense, I know we saw it in Mark's piece there a little bit, but still it's difficult to kind of wrap one's head around being able to capture an image of something 55 million light years away. How is it that researchers were able to actually do that? Well, first of all, our radio telescopes were lashed together with computers. The signals from seven and eight radio telescopes were combined to give you a telescope about the size of the Earth. We can pick up an orange on the moon. That's how wow. good this radio telescope is. And next, we're going to have images of the black hole at the center of our own Milky Way galaxy. Mm -hmm. Go out tonight. Tonight, go outside, look up and see Sagittarius. Sagittarius is a constellation, and in that constellation, there lurks a black hole in our own galaxy. Mm. Now, children know that the moon goes around the Earth, mm -hmm. the Earth goes around the sun. But what does the sun go around? <laughs> The sun goes around a black hole at the center of our galaxy in the constellation Sagittarius, and you can see it tonight. I just, it's, it's so difficult for me to get my feeble mind around these, <laughs> these concepts <laughs> when we talk about space, Michiu. So you called it sort of a roach motel where you go in and nothing comes out. So you know how when we see in movies, spaceships, for instance, being sucked into black holes, they really are that dangerous then. That's right. And it's a mystery as to what goes in and does it ever come out? Mm. You know, children ask that question whenever they go to the planetarium. If it falls in, where does it go? Right. And the answer is we don't know. There's a Nobel Prize waiting for <laughs> somebody out there who can explain where things go after it falls into a black hole. And by the way, if you ever figure that out, tell me first. <laughs> well, and we'll I... split the Nobel Prize money. <laughs> okay, sure. I would not hold my breath, uh, Michio, for that call from me. But what comes next now after this image? Does this spark new questions about the universe and how much we know? That's right. This is the most exotic, bizarre, monstrous object in the universe. And we now think that every galaxy, every galaxy has a black hole lurking in the middle, including the Milky Way. And we think the Milky Way galaxy, our own backyard, has a black hole that's maybe four million times the mass of the sun. And it's what the sun goes around. The whole galaxy, our Milky Way, spins around a black hole in the constellation Sagittarius. And so these things are not so uncommon. We think there are many wandering black holes, smaller black holes, in the Milky Way galaxy. And so we have to realize that these monsters are in our own backyard. Wow, consider my mind blown. Michio Kaku, Michio, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it. Thank you.